In a rebuke to two New Jersey counties that signed agreements to cooperate with ICE and detain immigrant prisoners until their arrest by federal agents, New Jersey Attorney General Gerber Graywall today issued a revised directive that effectively ends the use of all so-called 287G agreements. I've concluded that these agreements undermine public trust without enhancing public safety and that any of their purported benefits are already achieved through our Immigrant Trust Directive. Sheriffs in both Monmouth and Cape May counties renewed their ICE contracts this summer without first telling the Attorney General. This after Graywall had directed New Jersey law enforcement agencies to avoid becoming de facto ICE deputies and instead maintain what he called a bright line between federal and local law enforcement. Both counties had argued to keep the agreements because they claimed it helped ICE detain dangerous criminals. Critics like to claim that we're providing, quote, sanctuary to dangerous criminals. Nothing could be further from the truth. Under our Immigrant Trust Directive, if you break the law, you go to jail regardless of your immigration status. Graywall said his directive lets jails alert ICE if they're holding serious or violent offenders. His decision drew praise from the ACLU and immigration advocates. ICE enforcement, especially, you know, the immigration enforcement work that they have done um, has really terrorized the community. And then people are really afraid to engage with local law enforcement when they think that uh, their local cop is going to be working with ICE and, and, and helping with deportations. So um, I think this is this is this is the right move. Advocates said the Trump administration uses this issue as a political tool to whip up its base. But ICE's acting director yesterday claimed its criminal arrests dropped by, quote, double digits last year and blamed policies like gray walls. The fact is that 70 percent of the arrests ICE makes are at local jails and state prisons across the country. But we used to make more, and we used to get more criminals off the street before sanctuary laws and policies prevented us from doing so, leaving us with no choice but to expend significant additional resources to locate and arrest criminal aliens and other immigration violators out in the community. Reacting to Graywall's orders, Cape May County Sheriff Robert Nolan said he's disappointed we plan to take this matter to court and I will take any avenue available to me to protect the residents of our county. Monmouth Sheriff Sean Golden said, we do not recall a directive that has ever been issued to ignore the laws of this country or state. As a result, we shall continue to pursue legal remedies of this directive. If they don't comply... I have supervisory power over law enforcement in this state to include the power to discipline and to to have uh, the ability to take control of certain offices if it comes to that. The Attorney General is giving Monmouth and Cape May counties seven days to wind down their operations with ICE. He says he hopes that they can all work it out. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.